So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticulator video. This time we're going to do waffle charts. I love waffle charts. I think they are absolutely wonderful. They are easy to read, easy to understand. They are eye-catching. I mean, with the proper data, like for obviously for any chart, it just shines. It's a very good visualization type. And it's not been very like the demos I've seen with Charticulator are not like super useful for Power BI, but I found a way that will not mess up your data. So are you ready? Let's get started. So for this video, we're going to use Makeover Monday 2018 week two. There was a questionnaire that they sent out around the world to see if people preferred looks or personality, both male and female. So the data looks like this. So there are uh, male and females, the nationality, rank first, twice, uh, that's a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do is what you see below, right? So we're going to see for males in Britain and the one that ranked the first, we're going to do the waffle chart for it, okay? So this is what I found. The easiest way to do it in chart clear is like this. So you go to uh, question. We're going to create a new source, blank query, and then we're going to get from the table, the original table, 2018 week two, we're going to get the values from the column question. Like that. Now we're going to remove the duplicates and now we have the list of questions that they were asked. So uh, how, what would you, how would you rate good looking, personality I like, things like that, right? So now that we have the categories that we want for our waffle chart, what we need to do is to create the waffle itself. And the waffle is basically a grid from 1 to 100. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a custom column. And then we're going to get from 1 to 100. This will create a list. I talked about data densification on my main channel, so go there and check it out. I explain all this in detail. Okay, so let's expand on these new rows. And now we have the question, and then they have the custom column with the 100. That, that is the one that is going to draw the grid on Charticulator. It will make sense, don't worry. So this is our grid. Go and close and apply. Load both tables. And once we're here, we need to have a relationship between the original table with the original data and our grid, which is going to be the question. The question is the common denominator. Now, let me show you. So for the first uh, table, the actual data table, we said that we want for gender, maybe we should have it here. So for gender, we want male, doesn't matter, you can pick anything, uh, for, oh, <laughs> for gender we want male, we want for nationality British, and we want for rank text, the one that ranked the first. And then I'm going to get the question, Here's, we have the question with the values, and then we have the column with the cell values, right? I think they have to be, yeah, so the custom, the column for the grids, it has to be a number, because we're going to compare numbers with numbers. Okay, so now we need to have a column here that we say should row one or cell one be color or not and color or not is going to be a one or a zero so should this be one or zero one or zero and then obviously it depends on the percentage that you should color it or not so we're actually going to calculate that and i do not want to create this massive measure by hand now because it won't give you any value but what i'm definitely going to do is to uh, explain what the measure does so you can calculate it for your data. 
you know, our table is called greed, so I need to change that to greed. There you go. So, this is what it does. The first part, this calculates the percentage, right? So, the percentage. So, it says that for question, do they have make a decent amount of money? get the percentage because that's how the data looks like let me show you so if you go here you we go men nationality is going to be british and question let's pick one question good looking and then you said ranked first Rank first. So you can see the percentage is 14%. So 14% said that they have to be good looking male Britain. Okay. So this is the number that we want because that's what we need to then color, right? So this for first part finds what percentage of male British rank first that they have to have a decent money, what percentage that they were intelligent. So we're grabbing that number. So the second part, what it does is, is, as we saw in our example for good-looking British male rank first is 14, right? So if we go here and good-looking, we have it here. So good-looking, it says that if good-looking is 14, so if the green number is less or equal than 14, one, color it. Otherwise, zero. Okay, so we're telling what to color. Really, really cool. So, uh, once we have this, we put it here. And then you can see that it colors up to 14 because it's 14%, the rest is zero. So now the last calculation that we need to do is, as you saw on the waffle chart, I have a big number with the total. So what we're going to do is to create a measure that sums the ones for each category. So we go to a new measure and then just do a sum x of the money column, okay? So put it in there. And obviously here is not going to say the actual sum, but when we sum it, it will sum, okay? You'll, you'll understand. Okay, let's go into charting later. So let's put all this stuff up here. As always, create a chart. Always is, the hardest part is to put the data in the shape that you want and understand what you want to do, then doing it in chart calculator is not that difficult. So the first thing that we're going to do is to put the questions in there. I'm not going to show, if you have updated to the latest, latest version of chart calculator, there's actually a search button, which I'm completely loving. But uh, let me leave it for now. So you can see here that I put the questions and then I get a lot of values in here. So this is showing me one line per cell. Okay. What I want to do is to create an individual chart for each column. So what I'm going to do is go here and group by question. When I do that, I can actually show you perhaps so you see it better. Remove the group by. As you can see, it creates a nested chart per each cell. We do not want that. We want to create a nested chart per question. So that's why you group by question. And then you can see that, that we get as many charts as questions. Beautiful, that's what we wanted. And now I can actually get rid of the visible part because we don't, not, we don't want to have the... Maybe I should keep it so I can nest it. Anyhow, let's continue. So we go to the next chart, edit next chart, and then for the title, here's the titles. You cannot wrap text on titles, but you can wrap text on axes. So maybe for this case, it's actually better to get rid of the title because we will need to wrap it. So I think it's probably a good idea. Um, so what we're going to do here, as you saw, it was dots. Our element is a dot, so we're going to have dots everywhere, but I want to have them in a grid. And this is our 100 grid that, you know, we created in Power Query. So what we're going to do now is to color. And you remember that we have a function that colors this thing? 
So put it in there. And now you need to choose the colors that you want. So we are going to have light gray for the ones that are not filled. And then we have a color for the other ones, right? And now you need to sort this thing. Uh, so sort it there and then sort it there. And this is exactly what we wanted. It's so cool. So close. Let's do it a little bit broader. So, and now we are going to put back our and we're going to put it in the position opposite and then we're going to wrap it. I'm loving the so the search function is absolutely wonderful. Oh my god. So, put this there. What I do not want is the baseline and all that stuff. So baseline for that. You have to actually select, obviously, the property that you want and tick. I don't want that either. So save. And the last thing that we want to put is the text box. Oh, but we're not going to do it here, obviously. We need to do it on the nested chart. Is the chart. We're going to go and grab a text box, gigantic text box. Now remember, you need to have guides when you're putting things in the empty space. Charticulator does not have a sense unless you actually tell him what and where. Okay, so we're going to put the guides in there. The text is going to be the sum. Some and it's going to be two percent, fourteen percent, and a little bit bigger. Thank you. A little bit that and colored uh, blue, the same one. That's too light. Save, close. Look at that. Okay, so it moved a little bit. So you need to, you know adjust this so it looks as pretty as possible. Probably the best idea is to anchor it on both sides so it expands. There you go, how pretty. And now we actually have a waffle chart that did not mess up with our data. So the grid is created in this separated data this data is exactly the same as it was before. And I really enjoy this because otherwise I was doing the data densification in the actual table. And for real business purposes, you don't want to do that. So this grid you can then hide if you don't want the table in. And this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let me know if you give the waffle chart a go. Just show... We have a LinkedIn group actually, so go and join us there, show us your work. And I will see you again with another Charticular video, hopefully, hopefully, very soon.